Come on, baby. What you doing? Oh my goodness, she is mad. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the video. I just wanted to mention that there is a very long life update at the beginning of this video. If you'd like to skip ahead, it's right after the five minute mark. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time. Hi. We have a visitor. Okay, take two. Let's try this one more time. So a lot has been going on, and I wanted to do a quick little update on what has been going on. So July, I put in a notice with my job and was like, hey, no longer going to be working for you at the end of this month. It was way early in July. So technically it was like a four week notice. Anyways, called my um, job or whatever and gave them notice or emailed them. And then I find out a few days before my last day, that the location I was at was actually closing. <laughs> they were closing the day that I put in my notice, so. Okay, I sound like a doofus. They were not closing the same day I put in my resignation. They were closing at the end of the month, but they didn't tell me because it didn't apply to me. I don't know how I managed to work that one perfectly, but uh, I was like, yeah, not gonna be working here any longer. And they were like, hey, guess what? Neither are we. It's like, oh, okay. So then after I quit my job, I was like, all right, we're gonna start homeschooling. So I'm now homeschooling my oldest child who is eight. And we just had a major hurricane that hit our area. Uh, we still have a roof. However, it does need repairs. It likely needs to be redone. We need repairs on all of our like soffit and fascia. We need repairs on our fences, but we still have a house, so yay. Also, my daughter is now enrolled in volleyball. LOL, she's not enrolled, she's registered. I And the park that she was doing volleyball at is actually now a um, shelter for people who still have no home because of this hurricane. Stupid, stupid hurricane. But um, they relocated to a new park, so we're actually going to be going to another park this week because our park was eh, shut down. I really can't remember what else it was. There's something else though. I know there is. <gasps> Genealogy. Ha! <laughs> I just started doing some genealogy and I've gone down the genealogy rabbit hole and that has been really time consuming. Really, really time consuming. I got a 14 day free trial and I'm on like day six of that free trial and um, it's been really fun, really interesting. I've been able to find out some things um, that my mom had not previously known because of some um, not rifts, but kind of rifts in previous family members and just things that uh, did not work out for the best when trying to learn about your relatives. And she wasn't always able to get clear answers. And I've been able to find out a little bit more um, about her side, but also a lot of the things that she did vaguely know have all turned out to be very much so true. So that's interesting, but that's the other thing that I've gotten into lately. So there's a lot going on. It is now September and I feel like there is a lot more going on than what I just said, but there's a lot going on. It is now almost time to start getting ready for the holidays and we still have so much going on when it comes to cleanup and trying to get everything back in order from the storm. So hopefully we don't have another storm like last year where we didn't have power for almost the entire last week of October. So please, no more storms. We're tired. All right, I'm rambling. I need to kind of do something with uh, my face, but I need to go fertilize my plants. I'm gonna fertilize my plants and do a little bit of tidying up outside before I change and get ready for the day. Y'all, I don't know how to do my face. It's been so long since I did any videos. Like, I'm just making 
all kinds of weird faces, I feel like. It doesn't feel natural right now. Bear with me. So the first thing I actually need to do today is go over an upcoming order that I have for groceries and then I need to get a game plan for a school project we have coming up and I also need to get a game plan on what we're going to do for dinner. So we have our first school project coming up and I need to uh, make a little base for the volcano. Anyways, that didn't work like I planned, but it is okay because I just kind of wanted an outline so that I can finish putting a big old glob like that. Okay. Trippy, trippy. Alright, now I'm just going to try and find something to keep it in this position so it can dry. I need to fertilize all my little plant babies. So normally, I would just uh, fertilize these beautiful babies and then water them outside. It is a very rainy day outside. I think I'm going to fertilize them and then set them out for the rainwater to uh, kind of give them a good watering instead of me watering them myself. Why not? So I'm going to sit down, eat lunch, and I am going to try and finish the first episode of the new season of American Horror Story. I have been trying to finish the first episode. I can't get it finished. I've been trying for the last two days. So I'm going to try and finish it. Hopefully nothing comes up. It's been a busy month. It's been, yeah, a busy last few weeks. And I totally didn't even realize American Horror Story was coming out coming on I've been waiting for it patiently and uh, it's here so I'm gonna try and finish this episode while I'm eating my lunch and then think about dinner I think I'm gonna do shepherd's pie just need to make sure I have all the ingredients I'm pretty sure I do though okay I'm making lunch okay now what in the... Okay. This is wild. Absolutely wild. Ooh, it's hot. This is going to be a good season. I can already tell. I know I'm late, but it's going to be a good season. I really wish I would have put cheese on this. 
I'll need you to come down to get an official statement tomorrow. Do we have to get a lawyer? I love her. No, a man broke into your house and attacked you. Massachusetts isn't Texas, but even here you're allowed to defend yourself in your home. There's gonna miss some torture. Oh, it's hot. It's, it's so hot. Oh, it's oh, hot. Gosh, pause. It's not pausing. The song's really good, though. I like it. Alright, so... Science Project has been started. I have finished my lunch. Once this episode is finished, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning. After I'm done cleaning, I'm going to probably bring the plants in. And then I am going to start doing dinner. So few more minutes I'm gonna just relax while everything's kind of quiet before everything goes a little uh, crazy so let me finish this episode it's really good I'm really really pleased actually sure enough the rain has done its thing my plants are soaking wet good job mother nature thank you for helping me on this project we're doing nurturing and fertilizing the plants and giving them nutrients. plants took a beating during the hurricane. Don't know if they're going to come back. Alright, it is 520 and I have not started cooking yet, so uh, I probably need to get on that. So let's start with potatoes. We are starting with a pan. I am going to be making shepherd's pie, so I'm going to start with boiling some potatoes for the mashed potatoes. Then I'm going to boil some carrots while the mashed potatoes cool. My husband doesn't like peas, so I'm not going to put peas in here, but I'm going to try and use this pot for the majority of the things I'm cooking, but I am going to need another pot that's out right there. My stove looks so gross. This is, um, it's a stain. It's not coming off. It, that's something that happened during the hurricane, believe it or not. I had some Himalayan salt uh, tea light candles right there because I was using them because we had no electricity. And then when we left the house and went to my mother-in-law's who had a generator, it was hot here. So the Himalayan salt lamps actually kind of melted and corroded the stove, which... This is supposed to be a new stove already. Side note, I don't have my stove that was supposed to be delivered like a month and a half ago. It's supposed to be delivered in about three weeks, so hopefully it doesn't get stopped along the way. This needs to be washed. Ew, that's kind of gross. All right, potatoes. Okay, so I've stabbed them generously, drowned them in water, turned up the heat, and I am going to salt them before they start boiling. Is anyone else ready for Halloween? Because, um, yeah, I'm so ready. That description was a little too violent for me to be describing potatoes. Wait, look! Ah, it's in like a human form. Look, it's got two legs, a body, a head, and two arms. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Maybe I'm just really that ready for Halloween. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. So, as soon as this does get changed out, this is the last original appliance. But as soon as it gets changed out, it's just going to look so much better. It's the only thing that we have changed about this kitchen is the appliances. Everything else will end paint. But everything else is... um original to the house which was built in 1990 like one or 92 or something like that but I can't wait to change it the stove still works some of the heating elements have gone out inside of the oven and we've decided just to replace it and I can't wait but yeah so 
can't wait it's gonna be nice it's gonna all go together and then maybe I'll start um thinking of what to do with the cabinets I don't know we'll see all right potatoes are done now I am about to start on the carrots I just need to peel them and cut them and then put them in here so that they can cook all right so the carrots are cooking I have seasoned the water next thing is going to be the ground beef so i have everything for the shepherd's pie ready carrots down there potatoes ground meat the rest of the ground meat is right here. It's gonna be tacos. I'm a little bit too tired to do the shepherd's pie tonight, so we're gonna have tacos tonight and then shepherd's pie tomorrow. But I am letting this cool before storing it in the refrigerator. the next day but I am determined to make this shepherd's pie so I have all my ingredients ready right here my uh, fridge is kind of a big mess right now I have everything ready let's get started Oy. and I'm watching the second episode of American Horror Story finally I've been trying to watch this whole episode this whole day, but uh, there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to make mashed potatoes. I'm going to cut up the carrots that's in here somewhere, and I'm going to saute some onion and some bell pepper and add it to... Yeah, it's a flower. That's pretty. It's for your hair. I'm going to saute some onion and bell pepper and season this meat and we're gonna go ahead and put it all together so there's also some bacon that I'm gonna add to the meat delicious time for the masher they're a little too cold to mash easily so I'm gonna let them sit for just a second ah! yeah it's not working why does that look weird Kind of looks weird right there. Ew. Brody. So this is actually starting to work out perfectly. But let me see if I can. It's working out well. If you have any like microaggressions, just kind of use it in the uh pulverizing of these potatoes anyways after you squish them the skins come off really easy hold on baby I'm squishing potatoes yeah I guess <laughs> potatoes are mashed it's time to cut some veggies peppers and onions cut need to cut the carrots. I'm thinking about putting some of these fresh jalapenos in there as well. Sauteing them up with this and then I want to go get some green onions from my garden and put it in with the mashed potatoes. Um, yeah, this is going to be pretty good. I am absolutely cutting a couple of these real quick. Let me rinse them. The sky is so pretty outside right now. Is so pretty. I can't really see it from here. It doesn't really do much justice. Alright. I am gonna and butter. Come on. Bam. And I'm gonna use some of this after it's melted for these potatoes. 
the rest of it is going to stay in the pan for sauteing the vegetables. I also cut the carrots. Almost everything's ready to go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright, so I have some... Let's actually turn that light on. I have some extra butter just for that. Now, I'm going to turn it up so I can saute my vegetables. Alright. Sizzle, sizzle. Come on. Me. Yeah. It doesn't want to come off all the way. Anyways. I'm going to sweat them out just a little bit. Don't forget to clean as you go. Gotta make sure to keep your area clean. Okay. These onions and bell peppers and jalapenos are talking to me, so it's time for the carrots. Okay, hello, carrots. What are you doing? Why does it have to be so hard? Why can't... Oh, there it is. Aha, uh -huh. cool. Alright. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wash my hands and wipe down this spatula because I'm weird. Cross contamination is a thing. And yeah. Boom. Alright, it is time to turn it off. Let it cool for just a second. I need to find my pot. And, uh, and then I can get it all together. I found my pot, and I don't know if you can see from this perspective, but I'm too short to reach it. I can barely reach the second level. I can tiptoe to get to right here. But I just, I can't quite, can't, can't get it. Let me go find the step stool. It was all lies. I didn't get the step stool. I used the bottom cabinet. Alright, as weird as it sounds, I need cornbread mix. Because I top my shepherd's pie with cornbread. It's a non-traditional shepherd's pie, I guess. trying to not make a mess. I'm trying to not make a mess. It's not working. Oh my goodness, stop. I'm making a mess everywhere. Well, now it's less pretty.